The Federal Reserve admitting it failed to anticipate and prevent the second biggest bank failure in U.S. history. The Fed's internal review finding the Fed did not fully appreciate the risks from Silicon Valley Bank's rapid growth and did not take sufficient steps to ensure the bank fix its problems. The Fed's top banking regulator, Michael Barr, now calling for revamping a range of rules that apply to banks with more than $100 billion in assets. He's also calling for reevaluating how regulators treat deposits above a $250,000 federal insurance limit. The feds took control of SVB March 10th and guaranteed all deposits at the bank insured or not. The bank's collapse sparking a panic that led to the failure of New York-based Signature Bank two days later. The Federal Deposit Insurance Corp seizing that bank and backing customer deposits. Today, the FDIC issuing a separate report admitting the agency was slow to escalate issues that it identified with Signature's management, but putting much of the blame on the bank, saying it grew too fast fast and wasn't responsive enough when the FDIC raised concerns. Six weeks after those two bank failures, there are still concerns. First Republic Bank this week said customers withdrew more than $100 billion from the regional lender last month, and concerns are growing that the bank will either have to find a buyer or be taken over by the FDIC. Alexis Christophorus, ABC News, New York.